Hello, I'm Stetler. And I'm Waldorf. We're coming to you from the balcony on the all-new Movies.com. In honor of Halloween, we're here with our picks for the top three scariest movies of all time. Yes, movies so terrifying, they'll make Waldorf wet himself more than usual. <laughs> First on the list is the Alfred Hitchcock classic, Psycho. Then comes the terrifying A Nightmare on Elm Street. And finally, we have The Ring. Ooh, after seeing that girl climb out of the screen, I never wanted to watch TV again. Mm, and I felt the same way when I saw Joni Loves Chachi. <laughs> <laughs> So who would you say is the best villain of all time? Oh, well, there's Freddy Krueger, mm -hmm. Jason, yeah. ooh, Pinhead. Oh, Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. Oh, but nothing was as scary as Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, yeah? You see him in that hot tub with Kathy Bates? Mm. Good point. So who are your all-time favorite horror movie babes? Well... I like Nev Campbell in Scream. Mm -hmm. I also like Naomi Watts in The Ring. Yeah. Oh, but don't forget about Paris Hilton in House of Wax. Oh, yes, what a performance. Mm. She actually had me believing she was really made of wax. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who want to stay home with a more sweet and sensitive paranormal movie, mm. you can always rent Ghost with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. Or the new Reese Witherspoon movie, Just Like Heaven. Mm. Or as I like to call it, just like ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not out on DVD yet. Mm, give it a week. Nothing scares the jeebies out of me more than little kids in horror movies. Oh, yeah, like Damien from The Omen. Oh, yeah, or that little kid in The Grudge. Oh, or those two little twins from The Shining. Oh, they are oh. the worst. Mm. Well, there's one kid that's going to scare the heck out of you, but it's not out until 2006. Well, who's that? The Tom Cruise Katie Holmes baby. Oh, that is creepy. Yeah, classic horror movie mistake. We should have stopped them before they spawned. <laughs> uh, what do you think is the funniest horror movie that wasn't meant to be funny? Mm. Let's see, there's Jason X, uh, Friday the 13th in Space. Well, that yeah. was pretty funny. Uh, well, there was Jaws 3D, that was hilarious. Mm. Yeah, but I'd have to say that my all-time favorite is Dark Water. I mean, people running away from a leaky faucet? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the sequel, Overflowing Toilet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be Dark Water. Mm -hmm. You know, on Halloween, you can't go wrong with a great zombie movie. Yes, the brain-eating undead really mm. scare the pants off you in Night of the Living Dead, mm. Day of the Dead, and the New Dawn of the Dead. Oh, and let's not forget about Paul Walker in Into the Blue. Ooh, yeah, the stiff acting, the vacant soulless eyes. Now that was a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> in honor of Halloween, here's a very special Movies.com... Balconism. Balconism. Today's balconism is Runderwear. Ooh. Runderwear is the phenomenon that happens whenever the female heroine of a scary movie runs away from the killer. For some reason, she's always in her skivvies. Well, yes, like in Friday the 13th, mm. Cabin Fever, and countless others. You know, if you were in your underwear, I think it'd be the killer who'd run for his life. <laughs> well, who says I wear underwear? Maybe I go commando. Well, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. <laughs>